Hello, my name is Slumpert and welcome back to Symmetria episode of London. And in this episode I want to return real quick to uh, our starter base that we built a uh, long time ago. Or at least feels long, like a long time ago, but I don't think it's that long in, uh, in reality. And as I said, uh, when we left here is I want to build um, a duck to live in this uh, would-be castle. And so in here I have all the materials I think I'm going to need for that. And we're just going to have a quick time lapse of me building that. Actually, before we start that, um, I did make a... Uh, well, yeah, I, I made a uh, version of it in a creative world and... Uh, I measured beforehand, I measured out like how big it was going to be, how many, how much space I had. Problem is that I'm not sure if I took like this or this as well. I don't know if I calculate, like if I want to remove these, the things. So I'm gonna just try and build it without and hope that's okay. <laughs> hope that it works. But uh, we'll see. If it doesn't work, well, uh, I have to try again. Oh, actually, no trial required. Uh, you can see here that I was planning to remove those because otherwise I need one more block here. So uh, we'll have to remove that first. And then we'll continue. Now it seems that there's probably just not going to be time lapse because I keep finding out that I still am still missing stuff and similar things. So instead I'm just going to build it and uh, you'll just see uh, progress updates like these. A quick distraction from the episode as I found out just now that um, False hasn't reviewed the Halloween build yet and of course it is uh, the 4th of November right now so way past Halloween. But I think it will be fun to try and quickly build something anyway just to, uh, to have done that and I have uh, a bit of a silly idea for something to make. Ow. And we need some white wool for that, so that's why I'm here searching for sheep. We are here at Spoopy Town, or the Spoopy build off I should say. It is raining appropriately, but still annoyingly. Um, I've read the, rule, read the rules, uh, it's just like, claim a plot, uh, it has to be spooky themed. Yeah, this rule will just pretend we didn't see that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, if it's safe from mobs, mine is gonna be relatively safe, I think, but... Um, uh, fairly, and the rest will just have to kind of hope that there is a spot free, because I oh, do see a lot of builds here. And so yeah, thank you to Simon, Bexy, Dex for making all of this. Uh, okay, I saw this spot over here. It seems to be completely unclaimed, right here in the middle. How convenient. Alright, so our build is gonna begin with a little hole. Uh, a little bit bigger than this, and actually also a little bit deeper than this, so... I'm glad that we have a little bit more space than I thought I did. Yeah, so the last time I, I participated in a, a build battle, it was like the one chunk challenge, so in my mind I still had that to work with, but this is actually a lot bigger. Uh, which means we'll probably not use the whole of the plot, but that's fine. I think this should be big enough, I hope so, otherwise it's fairly easy to make it a little bit bigger. And we're just gonna go and I assume this is gonna be enough. Uh, maybe actually... Well then I, I definitely don't have enough. But that's also, that's gonna be way too big so we're not gonna do that. Gonna just keep it this. And... I gotta do that this. Uh, I don't have a lot of string. I was gonna test if it might work better if I do it with string. But I guess we'll keep it at this as you can turn. No, I can't. Um, oh, we can do this. Actually, that might, that might be better actually. Um, I do have my energy. So, okay, I'm gonna quickly see if I can find some string and then... Uh, yeah, I actually do think that with string it looks uh, a lot better than with, uh, with uh, wool. 
Um, maybe we could even just for... No, that's not... That brings whole other issues. So I quickly went back and forth to grab a little bit more stuff so we can have a bit more very thing. Um, I do think I want to have actually the bottom, like where the thing is laying, be more... Um, What's it called? Uh, to be more stone and less um, grass. We're just gonna quickly change all of that to either stone or gravel or and decides what I took with me. Oh, and cobble as well, of course. I always forget that those hurt, even though it's completely logical, of course, but still. Actually, I think in here, at least, it should be mostly cobble. And then when we get a little bit higher, further away from the explosion, it should be more um, stone. So we'll, we'll keep the top layer, like this layer, we'll keep that fully dirt, but we'll mix in some coarse dirt just to uh, not be too lazy. It's a bit unfortunate with the stone that this way it does seem like the outline is a lot less visible. How can I... Can I do anything about that though? Yeah, okay, this is this needs to be changed because this is not not visible enough. Because if you if you're standing here, you just see the black wool thing. Uh so how are we gonna do that? It's on grey it's not really visible, so maybe Um we'll do actually let's just see if it works if we do Hmm, no, that, that's not gonna work, actually. Let me think for moments. Okay, I'm not gonna keep it at... Um, uh, so now I use the concrete, but I don't think I'm gonna keep that, but it does look like it's a lot more visible on there. So what I'm thinking is maybe that we can use coal blocks and kind of spread those around in a circle around it. And then use that, and I hope then that the string will be slightly more visible. If... Uh, well, it, if, if you get close to here, it, it is clearly visible it's, uh, over the that. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, so I'm going to quickly grab some coal blocks and then uh, I hope we we have something. So I decided to keep a little bit of the black concrete mixed in as I... Uh, I, I do kind of like it in a bit more like varying colors way. Um... And yeah, I think I'm uh, happy with it for now. Maybe I, I don't actually know when the when the judgment will be, but um, maybe that I'll uh, come back tomorrow to see it again and see if I can add remove a couple of things. Oh, I did also have not that, but a bit of that, so we can do the Minecraft thing and add a few drops here and there for fun. Does it still come? Oh nice. Um, it should actually, if I'm gonna make a streak like that, it should probably go that way or at least away from the like stuff like that it should be probably. Um, I'll make one more there and put some. Well, we we'll actually can have a couple of like cross dots but I think mostly we just want to have the normal dots. So yeah, I think... Oh, wait, and then the... Uh, okay, so this is the last step. We'll have some like lint. No, I was actually thinking that this lint would be kind of silly, but okay, well, yeah, if you're lower than it, it's, but it, it kind of works. Like, you have to kind of shift and look around. You, you have to actually try to, to see everything. So I, I kind of think it's fun that, that it kind of works this way. Uh, of course, yeah, normal lint, of course, isn't so you don't see it, but just don't you don't enter it, but... Um, yeah, with this, I think, at least for right now, I'm gonna call it here. And say that, that this way it's enough, but um, if I come up with something more, maybe that I'll visit again tomorrow, or... Uh, sometime before the judging is, and I can see again. The one last thing I actually do want to do is see if... This, this is just names, and this is also just a name and a claim. But 
Yeah, okay, so th there's only names. I, I thought maybe people also named their uh, builds, but it looks like at least around this place. Okay, see that this one is uh, named. But yeah, I, I think uh, in that case I'll also just leave it as, uh, as just my name. Um, so, on with whatever I was doing before this distraction. So, it is almost finished. Um, I just realized only that. Uh, let's get a bit on uh, on his level. Oh uh, yeah, so I realized I don't have any orange concrete. Unfortunately, he has to do without a beak for now, but uh, luckily the shopping district is right over there. So we'll quickly go grab some and then we can finish him. And with that, he is finished. Uh, I do actually think I have to kind of do an operation on him and light up his insides, as I do think those are very, still very dark right now. Uh, do I have any to Yeah, I do. So let's do that immediately. Uh, these are easy to remember. Oh wait, and let's fill that up. Uh, okay, I hope that uh, will be enough, and otherwise I don't think a lot of people will come here. Hey, is this also still open? Shouldn't be. No. Um, let's put a mushroom block there. Let's take a little bit of a look. Uh, yeah, he is a little bit more cramped than he was in the uh, flat world, obviously. Um, but uh, I still like him. It's, uh, he has a nice derpy looking face. Uh, let's see if he can see better from the sky. But uh, yeah, I like it. It's uh, definitely an improvement over the overall thing. I don't think anyone's going to understand why there's a duck here. I imagine most of the people watching this episode also uh, don't follow it. But uh, when I first make this castle, I refer to it as the ugly duckling. And now I've added a duckling to it. And that's a th there's nothing more. <laughs> so this is... Uh That's that. Um, yeah, in the, the for the sakes of not forgetting to build things, and that spiders are relentless. But yeah, so for the sakes of not forgetting the things uh, I said I would do at the beginning of the season, and I actually don't think I had this in my build. I think he deserves a little bit more. It's also like, no matter where you look, he always is looking at you. And with the thunder roaring above our dock, I'm gonna end the episode there, and I uh, hope to see you next one. Bye-bye!